When you're working in SPSS and you're trying to access data, you may get the idea of entering data. Well, let me tell you my thoughts. You want to enter data in SPSS, I just see it as an exercise in frustration. It's a pain to do it manually. And I'd say maybe if you're entering 10 or 12 numbers, you know, basically nothing. It's something that's often referred to as a toy data set. Maybe you could do that. Now, it's also possible to copy and paste data, but I'm going to say sort of because it doesn't work really well. I'll show you that. It's much, much easier to just import the data from a CSV file or a text file, and I'll show you how to do that in the next section. But in terms of entering data, let me show you how it works in SPSS. We'll just open up a blank document, and we'll try it. So here's a blank data window in SPSS. I can come right here and I can enter a number. And, you know, unfortunately, if I press tab, it actually goes down, which is an unusual behavior. And you see, it gives it an automatic variable name, var00001. Well, if I want to move sideways, I actually need to move the right arrow key. So I'll go this way, two, three, and so on. And then I can hit return, and it goes down. I'll come back to here, and I'll go four, five, six. I'll hit tab, and it comes back to the beginning. So it's not the most intuitive behavior. Plus, you see, it gives it these generic names. That's because you can't enter the variable name directly in this window. Instead, what you have to do is go to variable view. You can also get there by just double clicking on the variable name. Here we go. And you can enter the variable name and you can change other things you want to do. It works, but it's a pain. I'm going to come back here to data view. Now, I mentioned you can import data, sort of. So let me show you how this works. I'm actually going to go to a Google Sheet that has nothing in it at the moment. And here I'm going to enter a few values of a few different kinds. I'll do 56, 43, and I'll enter a number J. Return, I'll go. Okay, so there's some data. I've got two digit numbers and I have letters which will be string variables in SPSS. I'm going to copy those. And we'll see how well they paste over in SPSS. So I'm going to go back there. I'll come over here to the side and I will paste those in. And you see that the values came in and showed up with decimal places, and I can get rid of that. But it's really weird with the string variable, with the letters. And so you can copy it. Notice also I, I can't copy in variable names. I still have to enter those manually. You can deal with those when you import. But really, this is a demonstration that putting stuff manually in SPSS, it's not a good environment for that. Use a spreadsheet, use Google Sheet, use numbers, use Excel, anything, enter it there and then import it. I'll show you that in the next section and you'll see that it's a much, much easier process.